Okay, this is accelerometer one test for the flight controller. This test verifies the SPI communication between the accelerometer and X-Mega is active. It also tests the accelerometer is accurately detecting the linear acceleration. It does this by representing the linear acceleration onto the status LEDs. Step one, power the 3.3 volt channel of the flight controller board. Step two, attach the PDI programmer to the programming header on the flight controller. It's attached here on the board. Attach it to the PDI programmer. Step three, load ACL1 xtest.hex onto the flight controller. That programmed. Step four, tilt the board around the x-axis to an angle of 45 degrees plus or minus 10 degrees. I'm going to disconnect this. It's at 45 degrees. Step five, verify that the first four least significant bits of the status LEDs light up. Step 6. Tilt the board around the x-axis to an angle of 90 plus or minus 15 degrees. Step 7. Verify that all of these status LEDs light up. Step 8 is place device back at zero degrees and load ACL1Y test.hex onto the flight controller. We have placed it at zero degrees and are now going to reprogram it with the ACL1Y test.hex. Okay. So, now step nine says repeat steps four through seven, except this time tilting around the Y axis. Step four says tilt the board around the Y axis to an angle of 45 plus or minus 10 degrees. So that's right along the 45 degree line. Step 5 says verify that the first four least significant bits of the status LEDs light up. Yeah. Step 6, tilt the board around the y-axis to an angle of 90 plus or minus 15 degrees. Step seven says verify that all of the status LEDs light up. Step ten says place the device back at zero degrees and load ACL one Z test hex onto the flight controller. Okay, we are placed at zero degrees, and we are now going to load ACL one Z test hex. Okay. Next step is to repeat steps four through seven, except this time tilting around the y axis. Okay, so step ten. Sorry, step 11 says repeat steps 4 through 7, except this time tilting around the y axis. So I'm going to step, tilt this to 45 degrees. Oh, we look so tired. Okay, so now step 4 says rotate the board clock. Oh, darn it. Okay. Step 4 says tilt the board around the x-axis to an angle of 45 degrees. Step 5 says verify that the first four least significant bits of the status LEDs light up. Step 6 says tilt the board around the x-axis to an angle of 90 degrees plus or minus 15 degrees.
Step 7 says verify that all the status LEDs light up. The pass for this test is the first four least significant bits on the status LEDs light up at each pass through step 5 and all the status LEDs light up each pass through step 7. After reviewing this video, we see that this is a pass.